The last talk for this session is from Ron Shapiro, Ron Shapiro Weber in, is a P, uh, from Ben Gurion University. Ron Shapiro is a PhD student at Ben Gurion University at the Vision Inference and Learning under the supervision of Dr. Oren Reisfeld at the Computer Science Department. His interest area includes time series analysis and computer vision with application to time series joint alignment and averaging image regist registration and video analysis. Thank you very much for having me. So today I will present uh, a work with uh, my um, advisor, Professor Oren Freifeld. It's uh, titled Regularization Free Diffeomorphic Temporal Alignment Nets, a bit of a mouthful. And uh, it was presented in the recent uh, ICML conference. And let's jump right in. So basically, uh, lots of video today. So let's show some videos. Um, we have um, some kind of uh, category or uh, prototype. Um, and we want maybe to syn synchronize the videos. Uh, one uh, possible solution is to use a reference, uh, as shown in previous talk. And the prob the one of the problems is that the reference might be noisy. So what we might want to do is um, jointly align the videos. So as you can see below, the actions are aligned, even though they are of different lengths, different views, different um, people. Um, and another problem is how do you produce this alignment? So uh, if we dive further in, um, our data is time series data. This can be the embedding um, of a video. This could be uh, medical, uh, such as uh, ECG or something like that. Uh, for this instance, I think it's a gyroscope from a Wii uh, controller. Um, and above, you can see that the um, time series are of different length, and, and on the Right, you can see that the average of these time series is very it do, is not representative of the data, and you have uh, lots of uh, standard deviation in the shaded area. And our goal is to align them, as we can see below, and uh, then you can also get a very nicely um, mean signal. And this is based on previous uh, work from uh, NeurIPS and ICIP, and um, the focus of this work is how to get good solution while also avoiding um, costly uh, hyperparameter search and uh, finding the correct values for regularization, since this uh, framework is unsupervised or weakly supervised. Um, very broadly, our input data is, uh, we have the class labels, but we don't have a template or a reference. Here you can see two classes, blue and uh, red. And our goal is to align them together. During inference, we don't have the class labels. Um, and as you can see here, this is our previous work. We have the alignment loss, which is the within class variance after alignment. And you have uh, some kind of regularization, which encourages the transformation to be close to the identity and be smooth. Um, OK. And the warping parameters or the warping family we are using in this project, it's called CPAP. It's a continuous piecewise AFUN based transformation. And the point is that, that it's, it's parametric. So you um, predict a fixed number of parameters, regardless of the length of the time series. Like in a, a fine transformation for images, you always predict six parameters. And uh, it has a closed form gradient, uh, which is very uh, nice for deep learning frameworks. And as you can see on the top right, we have a sine wave. And below, you can see a random warp. And in the red line, you can, you can see the identity. And when the blue line is below the identity, the signal is basically stretched back in time. And when it's above, it's uh, going forward. So. Uh, our focus here is uh, regularizations and finding the correct parameters. Here you can see in gray some uh, ECG signals, and in blue, their average signals. Uh, when using no regularization, um, one of the best ways to minimize the variance is just to shove everything into the same time step and just uh, let the interpolation completely destroy the signal. Uh, if you is use weak regularization, that you get a um, good representative. But then again, what are good values for this uh, type of uh, um, transformation and if your your regularization values are too strong then you get basically the Euclidean mean or the identity transformation so uh, instead of just computing uh, the centroids here you can see mu c and mu c tag um, and compute the loss uh, there along with some kind of a regularization term uh, instead we this is a very simple approach but highly effective um, surprisingly too effective um, we simply uh, have two steps uh, for computing the loss. The first step is what we call the forward warp. So we warp the signals uh, to their centroid. 
And then instead of computing the loss there, we just uh, repeat the mean or the centroid uh, as for each sample. We perform the inverse warp, um, which is a crucial point. You need your transformations to be invertible, which in our case they are. And then you compute the loss. This encourages the mean signal to explain the data, um, and it alleviates the needs for a regularization term. Um, a little illustration how, of how the training procedure looks. As we can see here, on the left, you can see the forward warping or the joint alignments of the signals. In blue, you can see the their centroids being built uh, during the training. And on the right, you can see the mean signal inverse warped using minus theta uh, to each of the original signals. And this is the uh, entire framework, basically. Um, we evaluated our method on an archive of, of 128 data sets. It has everything from um, sensors, motions, simulated data, uh, images which are unfold as a time series, um, and medical data. Um, here you can see a nice um, comparison with popular uh, time series averaging methods. Um, most of them are based on dynamic time warping, DTW, if you're familiar with. Um, the key point here is that, um, as you can see, there's always some kind of hyperparameter to tune if you want to get good results. Soft DTW has some kind of smoothing effects, and uh, uh, the, our previous work, DTAN, also had. And on the bottom right, our ICAE, or the Inverse Consistency Averaging Error, which is our current work, um, gets very good results without needing any uh, tuning or uh, regularization. Um, more results, I'll skip that. Um, so basically, this is the um, main table. We are in bold, yeah, yeah. Um, what I want you to look at, it's the amount of configurations the competitors on the first block had to evaluate when getting the results. Um, they evaluated their method on 84 data sets, and, and the best method uses <laughs> used uh, 96 configuration, which resulted in about 8,000 experiments to finding the best configuration. And in star contrast, we only use one configuration and got comparable results. Um, and below you can see we also support variable length inputs, um, as you saw in the beginning of the slide. Um, regarding computational speed, so again, during inference, we are in purple here. Um, we, our computational speed is, is, we work with GPU, deep learning, so inference is very, very fast. And uh, DTW, even if you compute the metric, it still uh, grows uh, quadratically with the length of the sequences. Uh, so a very nice property is that we are not, um, we are linear with the input length, as you can see here. And I think I maybe moved too fast, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, so what we saw here, our goal was a system that can align time series. We had two main problems. The first one was the temporal misalignment in itself, where we don't have a reference. And uh, the second one is that uh, regularization could be class specific or data set specific and might require an extensive search uh, for the correct hyperparameters. Um, our proposed solution uh, presented in the recent ICMLs, uh, and again, we are also supporting variable length, and our code is publicly, publicly available here. Uh, the slides should also be available. Um, thank you. Um, AI enhanced. <laughs>